Hey everyone, this is Alana with Fidget Haven Reviews, and today I'm going to be showing you the Turbulence by Dam Designs. They're available for pre-order starting at $59, and you can get it in brushed finish or polished finished stainless steel or machine finished titanium. They come with two sets of buttons. Um, mine came with two of the same type of buttons. I did see something in the Dam Designs group the other day about these really nice looking spiral buttons. And I have a feeling that that's what um, the second set of buttons will be for the next pre-order, but uh, I can't remember for sure. So I will post um, something clarifying in the description below just to make sure that I haven't said anything that is not true. Uh, in addition to two sets of buttons, it's also going to come with two bearings, and I know that those are uh, some of the FC Essentials bearings. I did not get one of those, so I can't really say anything about them personally because I haven't tried it, uh, but I have heard some very positive things about the FC Essentials bearings, um, both for uh, spin times and for feedback. Uh, so hopefully I will be able to update you on those ones at some point. Um, this one here is in, in a brushed finish. You guys know I love brushed finishes. I love the way that the light plays off of it. It has um, a glowiness to it and I can see it a lot better in person, but I do see that my camera is picking it up and I just love the way that it looks. The finish is well done. I would say that it's a thicker brush. It's kind of hard for me to explain what I mean without, um, sharing pictures because my camera just does not pick it up very well. But um, but I do I like a thicker brush because it's a lot smoother um, and it just feels so nice. I haven't noticed any imperfections with the finish whatsoever. It's really well done. Um, in addition to it being very smooth, the spinner itself is super smooth. There's no um, hot spots or sharp edges anywhere. Everything has either been rounded or chamfered, even these corners. So no matter how you spin it, you are not gonna have any hot spots whatsoever. Um, this weighs 66.85 grams, and it, whoops, it comes to uh, 2.5 inches for spin diameter. Uh, I think that it's really easy and comfortable to spin. You know, I have smaller hands and even with a spin diameter of 2.5 inches, I have no problems with this. I think that it's a great size for the shape. Um, I'm very happy to see a quad spinner. I think I only have two other ones um, and I would love to see more of them. They're just, they feel as good as tri spinners, but but they're just a little different. So I would love to see more quad designs makers. Um, so let's see. Uh, it's very comfortable to spin, as I said. Uh, it's easy to spin either by flicking up, flicking down, or pulling from the face. Um, no matter how you do it, there are no hot spots. You know, there are other ways for people to spin, but those are the main ways that I seem to do it, uh, that I find are most comfortable for me. But it's very easy to use in a lot of ways. And I find that I can catch and release um, pretty much every time without any problems whatsoever. Um, I did mention the buttons. It comes with two sets of buttons. These measure 19 millimeters. Uh, I think that feeling wise, they are a great size. Aesthetics wise, I wouldn't mind them being a millimeter or two bigger um, just to cover the indent around where the bearing sits. Um, I think it looks good regardless, but I wouldn't be opposed to seeing it with slightly larger buttons. Um, I know that slightly larger buttons would also potentially add more comfort, but as I said, the comfort of these buttons is great and I have no problems with them whatsoever. Uh, both sets are the same um, stepped uh, concave stainless steel buttons and I, I have them on, on another spinner as well and I think that they're great. They're very, very comfortable. Uh, I cannot remember if I mentioned their diameter, and if I didn't, they are 19 millimeters. Um, as I said before, I do not have the bearing that is gonna come in the pre-order, so I'm not really gonna go over the bearing very much, but I just wanted to show that it does have a bearing retention system, which means that maintenance uh, and cleaning is super simple and easy, and it makes it just very easy to switch out your bearings whenever you want. Um, now, I did have a thought. Um, I don't, I, I'm, I'm considering implementing something different for the way that I do my spin time tests and whatnot, and I'd really like your feedback on it. Um, 
With so many companies offering different bearings, I know a lot of people don't use the standard bearing that comes with their spinners anymore. So I've been considering just using one bearing in all of my um, you know, bearing lock system spinners just to test the spinner itself and not the bearing. Um, I, I don't know that it's gonna make much of a difference. It's just a thought that I had. Um, so I would love to have feedback from you guys, uh, You know whether you want me to just review it with the stock bearing, whether you think that doing all of my reviews with the same bearing um, will give you a better measure of the spinner itself. So please don't forget to comment in the comment section below about which method you think might be preferable. Um, I did do spin time uh, several spin time tests. Granted, this isn't the bearing that you would be receiving, but my spin time average was three minutes and six seconds, which I mean, I used a uh, Fidget HQ hybrid ceramic bearing. It it works very nicely. It's smooth. It's quiet. I have no issues with it whatsoever. Um, I don't know if that's indicative of anything, but I did get three minutes and six seconds on average. It feels like it spins for a decent amount of time. Um, I got significantly less with a one drop bearing, um, but I find that this bearing is, is used by a lot of people. So that's one of the reasons that I tested it with this over the other bearing that I got. Uh, it did come with this SKF bearing that I thought was fantastic. It's honestly the closest thing to a one drop bearing uh, that I've found, but I seem to have mixed it up with uh, my other bearings. So now I'm not 100% positive on which it is, and I forgot to do a spin time test with it. So I apologize for that. Um, Overall, I really like this spinner. I think that it's very comfortable. The finish looks great. The weight is great. Um, I've used it with three different bearings and it's been quiet the entire time. I haven't really noticed much song from the metal. Um, that's about it. Uh, and, and I am definitely at a point where I don't really like my spinners to have a song. My sensitivity to sound is just so bad. Um, so this is a very quiet spinner. It's easily usable in meetings and watching movies. Um, it's good for distraction. It's good for concentration. It's not super expensive, so it is something that you could potentially keep in your car as a backup. Um, I only really have positive things to say about it. It looks good, it feels good, and I really would love to see more quad designs from people. Uh, one thing I did forget to mention is that it has a logo on it. Um, I don't find that the logo is offensive. I think it's tastefully done. The, the logo, it doesn't, doesn't represent anything else other than damn designs, and I think that it's nice and small, and it doesn't really in intrude. It wouldn't have been a problem for me if they had, say, put it, you know, on the side or under the button. But overall, I'm not hating on this logo. And you guys know that I don't really love logos on spinners. Um, but I'm okay with the damn design ones. It's not bad. So, um, yeah, this is the Turbulence by Dame Designs. They are currently up for pre-order, so if you're interested in getting one, I do think you should check it out sooner rather than later. Um, Dame Designs does not keep their spinners uh, in production for a very long period of time, and they only do things by pre-order. So I do recommend checking it out uh, if you are interested uh, as soon as, as possible, because I think that the pre-order is closing somewhat soon. Um, Adrian is great. He's always very helpful. He posts a lot in the Damn Designs group. So if you have any questions, um, that's another great place for you to get answers for it. Um, I will post in the comments section um, my uh, my link to the pictures of these and my my shortened abbreviated breakdown of it. And I will also include a link to the Damn Designs group where you can purchase this uh, and the Damn Designs Facebook page in case you have any questions or whatnot. Uh, because as I said, this isn't going to be up for pre-order for very much longer. Um, I'm very happy with it, and I think that you will be too, so I do hope that you check it out. Um, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to post them in the comments section below. I don't think that I'm going to be doing um, video spend time tests for at least the next little bit. Uh, it just adds another step to the amount of work that I have to do. And right now, I don't have it in me. I apologize, but I'm just, I'm really struggling with my energy. Um, so I do greatly appreciate you watching this. I hope that you learned something today. I'm sorry this review was so long compared to my other ones. Um, but yeah, 
I do appreciate you guys, you guys coming to hang out and see what, seeing what I have to say about spinners. So I hope that you all have a fantastic day. Thanks so much for watching.